and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I have done a full face of first impressions. So I literally had a new product for every single step except for my eyebrows. So if you guys are interested in this look and you are interested in my opinion on some new products, then please keep on watching. Okay, let's go ahead and start with primer. The primer I'm going to be using is the Hourglass Mineral Primer. Veil Minimal Mineral Primer Oil Free. That feels really weird. It feels the same as um, if you've ever tried the Smashbox primer that's like, there's a white Smashbox primer and then there's like a clear one. And if you've ever tried the clear one, this feels the same. Okie dokie. So I'm going to start off with my eyebrows today and I don't have a new product for eyebrows so I'm just using the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Ebony. So this is like my favourite eyebrow brush ever. This is the Morphe E29 brush. My eyebrows are like not good at the moment. Really hard to look into this because I'm like, where's my eyebrow? It always looks so ridiculous when you do eyebrows first. It, I, you know what I feel like when I do my eyebrows first? Have you seen those girls on Facebook and they draw their eyebrows on with like um, eyeliner? That's what I feel like. Okay, I don't know if I should even use this with the foundation that I'm using, but I don't really care because I want to use as many new products as I can. This is the NARS Co Copo Cabana Illuminator. So I'm just going to put it on like the high points of my face. Okay, so Kat Von D Tattoo Foundation, 24 hour wear, full coverage, transfer resistant, matte finish, fragrance free, oil free, and I am in the shade medium 54. So I'm just going to take like one pump of that. Oh, yes. It covers the freckles. I have like two freckles here that I just don't like, and this has completely covered them you can't even ah, you can't even see them you really don't need to use a lot of this foundation i mean if you want to use more than one pump be my guest i love full coverage foundations like i've covered my whole face but i still have some left and it doesn't feel gross because i've heard that it's really thick and like i've just heard that it's really thick and stuff and i need to make so I thought that it would feel really cakey and stuff, but it doesn't feel cakey at all. <sighs> I think I'm going to be very obsessed with this foundation. So I also didn't buy a new concealer, but when I was in the Sephora, they gave me this little sample of the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. So I thought I'll just use that instead of using an old concealer. And this is in the shade Neutral Medium. And oh my god, it's thick. What? I'm scared that is going to crease so badly on me. I didn't expect it to be that thick. Good lord. Good lord. I mean, it looks nice and it covers really well, but I'm just scared that it's going to, like, what's the word? I'm scared it's going to crease. Okay, so I'm just really going to, really quickly going to set just completely under my eyes. I'm just going to use this, the Laura Messier powder. Okay, so the next thing I want to do, and I'm like over cream contour, but I am going to try using this Anastasia cream contour kit, which I've used before, but I just got this Tarte Marik Kuja oil and apparently I've seen in videos that this just makes it like way easier to like apply and blend and stuff so I just want to test it out and see how it goes so it's like you twist this off and then it's got like a button at the top and that's how you get the stuff in there the like oil so I'm gonna just drop one drop so I'm in going to just use this artiste all over shadow brush for the dark shade Oh, makes it go on so much easier though than when you don't have it. Just really nice and light. I hope it makes it blend easier because I just remember like with this cream contour kit like it was really good but it just took so freaking long to blend. Like ridiculously long. You just sit there like for like a hundred minutes. To apply the yellow shade, I'm just going to use this 
um, Sigma E55 shading brush, eye shading brush. Okay, so I'm going to take this expert face brush and I'm also going to use like both of these to just blend that out. Does blend out so much easier. Now my top one's gone. So while I was in Sydney, I also picked up the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, pat. Oh, I got cream contour all over it. <laughs> the um, powder contour kit as well, and this I think is the shade light to medium. So I'm just going to use this banana shade here to like set all of the light highlighting. Okay, so now I'm going to do some powder contour. I'm going to mix these two shades here. I was in Sydney recently, that's why I got all of this good stuff. I also got the Kat Von D foundation while I was there and the custom cover drops from um, Cover FX. And I got the Tarte Light Camera Lashes. And I was there for a photo shoot and then I, oh my goodness, okay so I was going up the stairs to pay because there's like downstairs with all the makeup and then, and then you have to go up these like really steep stairs to like pay and on my way up the stairs I completely just tripped and fell and there was a girl in front of me, not only did I like fall on my hands, like it was a full face plant fall but... I like knocked the girl in front of me like she didn't fall over but um, I, I like knocked into the back of her foot and then people were laughing at me the girls in front of me were laughing at me and I was like okay oh I forgot to blend that everybody makes mistakes <laughs> I really like these contour shades though um, I'm also just going to use this for my nose. This is the Morphe E23 brush and just use the same shades. I'm going to do my eyes because I feel like doing my eyes. It's the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot, but let's just pop that in the eyes. I heard that it gets rid of discoloration and I don't know if you noticed that but it does. I have like veins on my eyelids and I hate them so when I heard that this got rid of discoloration I was like yes please I'll take 20 and now they just look so clean. Ooh. I recently got some new um, not all of these are new, but some of them are. And I got this shade, which is called, I'm pretty sure it's called White Lies. Yeah, from Makeup Geek. So I'm going to use that to set it. Okay, look how beautiful this is. This is from Tarte. Okay, it comes with like a little, and it's got a brush. And then all of these eyeshadows. This also comes with the Tarte thing. And I also got two more new eyeshadows. Also, what I find really cute about this is the names. They have names for all of the shadows. And because it's like a holiday pack, they've made them all of the names like holiday but like also incorporating like makeup words, I guess. Baby, it's gold outside. <laughs> is the season. What a wonderful pearl. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is grab my Sigma E35 brush and then I'm going to take this shade here which is called Peach on Earth. I'm going to take the Persia eyeshadow from NARS. This little Morphe E17 brush. I'm going to do it like a halo eye kind of thing. So I'm going to start by placing it out here. Also something exciting that I wanted to quickly mention. Um, I'm going to start uploading every three days. I thought like a little schedule like that might be nice. So that's what's happening. 
every three days there's going to be a video. Okay, I've never even done a halo eye before, so I'm just praying that this turns out okay. I'm just going to blend using this. I feel like I went too intense. <laughs> I'm going to incorporate the Bare Minerals as well, so I'm just <laughs> going to grab the dark brown colour. The case here is called the Epiphany, and this shadow here is called Foreshadow. The 230 Luxe Pencil Brush from Zoeva, and I'm just going to deepen up the edges. It's kind of a little thing in here. It says hello, that's so cute. NARS eyeshadows blend so easily. Okay, and just to deepen it up the tiniest little bit more, I'm going to take black from the Tarte case. This is called Black Velvet. And I'm just going to, like, literally the tiniest, teeniest, tiniest bit. And I'm just going to pop this. Right on the outside. Before the like middle bit there, I'm gonna take in a flurry and fizz the season. I just got a new shimmery shade, which I really want to try. This one here, which is Shimmer Shimmer from Makeup Geek. <laughs> the pigment is unreal. Look at the difference. Can you see the difference? That's Shimmer Shimmer and that is the tar ones. So I'm just going to plonk it down. But I just kind of want to blend the edges. And now for the bottom, I'm going to take the same brush, the 231, and also the Persia shade. And I'm just going to run that along here. And now I'm going to take my shader brush. This is the E15 Flat Definer. And I'm just going to take some more of the brown from Bare Minerals and place that under my eyes as well. And just using this smaller brush, this is the 230 from Zoeva, I'm just going to blend out the dark. Cool. To finish off the rest of the face, so I'm going to use the bronzer from this little Tarte palette, and this is called Social Butterfly. And I'm going to take it on this Zoeva 126 Luxe Cheek Finish Brush. I feel like you could use this as a contour shade as well. It looks like a really nice contour shade. I got some new Makeup Geek blushes. So here we have Smitten, which is a light orange colour. And then this one is called Infatuation. So I'm just going to mix them both. I also got a new little Makeup Geek brush that I'm going to use. So this is the Cheek Highlighter brush, but we're going to be using it for blush today. <laughs> and now for highlighter. So I have two highlighters I'm going to use. So this I've had, literally this was my first ever highlighter, but I've never used it before, surprisingly. This is the Albatross highlighter from NARS, and this is the Soft and Gentle highlighter from MAC. So I'm just going to use my Morphe 510 brush, M510. I like this highlighter. Okay, that's where I'm going to use that. And now I'm going to take the Soft and Gentle highlighter and I'm going to put this on top of that one. And then I'm also going to put it in... These two look so nice together. I'm going to grab this little hourglass, oh, hourglass number six brush and I'm going to pop some of that in the inner corner. And I'm also just going to use it to highlight my brow bone. I also want to use an eyeliner that I got. So this is the Stila Smudge Stick Waterproof Eyeliner and I'm just going to try and put this under my in my waterline. 
You can't tell if it's just this colour or if it's not meant to be in the waterline, but it's not looking all that dark. Now I'm going to be using the um, MAC Lip Liner in the shade Whirl. Also for lips, so I'm going to use this new Anastasia Beverly Hills lip gloss and this is in the shade Undressed. And I hope this is good because I just ordered two more. I just ordered, no I ordered three more. I ordered Gilded, um, Bronzed and what's Butterscotch. So I probably should have done that after I tried this but whatever. You win some, you lose some. Okay, that has to be the most pigmented lip gloss that I have ever used in my life. How is it not sticky? Can you believe that's a lip gloss? I can't believe it. I can't believe it! And now to try this Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. Oh, they look so long and voluptuous. Can you even use that? Does that word even work with, like, eyelashes? Okay, so that eyeliner is, like, pretty much gone. <laughs> But, my lower lashes have never looked better. Thank you, Tarte. Okay, and now for the final, actually I've got one more touch to do. Actually, I might do that first. Okay, so I have some MAC Fix Plus here. I feel weird spraying that on my face. So I have, I got four pairs of Coco lashes. They're all different styles though, but this is the style Queen B. And I also got their lash glue. but the glue is just not working. So that brings us to the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed and if you did please make sure to subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in three days. Bye!